Hi guys, welcome to the third part of Next.js 13 tutorial series. In this part, I'll be talking about layouts, creating, modifying layout file and also creating the nested layout files. And also I'll be talking about some private folders and also uh, different folders for other things in your project like shared components, smart components, presentational components or different constants files within this app directory. Okay. So let's first talk about this layout file. As I mentioned before, it contains all the things which are added from the page home component to the nested routes and all of its child components. Okay. So now uh, let's see that if we can modify this thing. So let's say that uh, we have this children. It's containing everything in our project currently, which is added. Okay. All the routing system. So this layout file, what if we want to add a top bar, header, sidebar, footer, as I mentioned, I won't be creating some fancy UIs. So just focus on some functionality in these tutorials until and unless we create a big project uh, at the end of this crash course. So first of all, let me create a header at the top and then H1 footer at the bottom. Okay. So let's save it. And this header and footer should be visible on all the routes okay because this layout file triggers on every route that we create within the app folder okay so let's go to the browser and now if i hit reload it's showing footer and header on this notes page if i go to the home route it should show the header and footer and it should show on every other route that we have created or we will be creating in this project so header footer are fixed we can modify it you can modify it with some fancy ui if you want so this is for you to understand okay now this is the layout file for the main page.tsx and all the routes now we want to have another layout file for all the routes of nodes Currently, we only have one folder inside it, but we can have tens and dozens of folders inside it means a lot of routes inside the notes folder slash notes slash note slash notes slash search slash notes slash analytics and a lot more routes. So let me first create another folder search and uh, I'm going to create another file inside it page dot TSX. Okay. So now let me copy this thing from here to this page search and now I'm going to add the search note page okay and the search note so now we have created this file now I'm going to create another file inside the notes and I'm going to name it layout.tsx right so this layout.tsx is directly added within the notes folder. It has to be with the same name layout. You cannot change its name, right? So I'm going to for now copy the code from here, right? And I'm going to paste over here. So, but here I won't be needing HTML and body because this HTML and body tags are coming from the main layout file. So we don't need to add these over here, but it has to be within one element. So I'm going to create these empty tags. For now, I'm going to remove everything above. Later, I will tell you what is this meta tag, metadata object is doing here. Okay. And I'm going to change its name, notes layout. And now, I'm going to save this file and you can see that I have also created this search folder and the page.tsx file as well. Okay. Now if I go to the browser, you can see that it is showing two header. Okay. Because we are in the notes directory and if we are, let me first change the name of it. So header of notes, footer of notes. So you get better idea what's belongs to which layout so header is coming from the main layout this is coming from the layout of the nodes right so if i hit dashboard it will not show the second because that new layout file is created for only the routes folder right so this layout file will be shown for all the nested routes including the notes route which is the page.tsx file so let me try and running notes slash one and notes slash search whether this header and footer gets visible or not so notes slash search 
it should visible yeah it's working now node slash one two three so it is visible now so any new route that we are going to create inside it, this layout folder is going to work. So we can have any number of layout.tsx file as much as we want, depending upon our requirement, what kind of layout we have, the design system and what kind of requirement and scope of project we have. So this was about the layout. Now let's talk about if we want to create some kind of folders that to, in which you don't want to create page.tsx files. Let's say that you want to have some components folder components for button styling component for uh, pop-up models components for drop downs components for search bars so all kinds of components you can create over here so in this component if you create the page.tsx file it will become slash components route but you don't want to do this okay so but in the components folder we can have a lot of shared components we can have uh, a lot of uh, smart components sorry shared has to be uh, a folder so I'm removing it right we can have a smart we can have a dump components right so if we are going to create the page.tsx file inside it it's going to become the route slash components slash dump it's going to be a route now it's a recommended practice next year 13 gives us a way that even if we create the page.tsx file then we have to make it a private folder with the underscore before it right so if we add an underscore then even if we create the page.tsx file within the components folder or within any number any nested folder even then it's not going to become any uh, route for our routing system right so for all other folders that you want to take it out of the routing system it's recommended that you create those folder with the underscore before it and next year 13 call it a private folder and if we want to have another folder like lib created with the underscore if we want to have another folder for state management like redux rtk you can have a store uh, you don't want it to be a part of routing system so you can create these private folders uh, inside it so in the next video i will talk about navigations and links added at the navbar or the footer and also navigation through the use router module